Hello my little munchkins, crumbs and sunflowers. We're back to do a recap on food stars yes. with Lisa Vanderpump and Chef Gordon. I really, really enjoy yes. this show. It reminds me of The Apprentice in a way. They're gaming for a quarter of a million dollars, $250,000. Am I right? Yes. This is what they're gaming for, to start their own business or whatever. However, as I see the show, that there are some things, especially this particular episode, there were some things that went along, that went on, that I have issues with. Yes. But nevertheless, I'm trusting it to see where it leads. Nevertheless, it's a very good show. So please, Join us, watch us, please. It comes on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. On what station? On Fox. Fox, watch it. Come join us. We can do more than 13 people. Mm -hmm. Come on, yes. follow us, and let's talk about this. Baby Cone, what you have to say? Yes, my thing is I'm finally glad that we have came across an episode that has got me vexed inside. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes, because lately, the last two episodes, two or three episodes now, have been, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm down for that. I can see where you guys is going. I totally agree. But this is the first episode where I'm like, no, 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 no. There was so many things that could have been changed. Anyway, we're going to move on to talking about how the theme is a 4th of July cookout that you're that they're supposed to create a recipe not or not a recipe but a dish to be able to be replicated in 30 minutes while also going live now with that being said one of the things that I begin to realize when you really put a cooking show it really is a lot to it they got to present it they got to put the food there this is what it's supposed to look like get a format how they want to do it if they want a professional cooking show yeah. this is just not like mom and pop in the kitchen although those cooking shows are yeah. good too where you just cooking by taste buds but then there are people who have everything on the table and I'm gonna put the butter I'm gonna put the margarine but a professional cook show is time yes. it's already there and that's what they're showing us and I do see people that do cooking shows they show you the food for the beginning they have the ingredients marked out it is a big difference I never noticed it yeah. until now that is true I, I never noticed that so if I ever did a cooking show it would have to be where you can cook along and enjoy cooking along yes. not that I'm just cooking in the kitchen by myself and you watching mm -hmm. no I want you to prepare and cook with me. But one of the things that I would do a little different, I would let the ingredients stay up there a little longer. Okay. Because sometimes they just take the ingredients down to that the is, That is true. But go ahead. Honestly, yeah. I have a newfound respect yes, for cooking absolutely, shows. Absolutely. Absolutely. They have done that for me. Yeah. You would think cooking food is so simple and easy, right? <laughs> but when you're cooking for YouTube and for the world and watching them and presenting your dish, you want to do it with strategic and you want to put it where somebody can follow it. If not, why are you on it? You want them to be able to taste your food. Yes. I like it. I really do. Please join us. But go yes, ahead. please. Now, the theme for this, as I said, was the 4th of July. And what they had to go into was presenting how the food was supposed to look so they had to stage it and make the themes around the food match the theme of fourth of july which i thought was actually brilliant and also what i enjoyed was the fact that the cooking show that they did work on was called delish which i have seen some of their cooking videos and it's it's actually really helpful to follow is it really is a show called delish yes oh, okay and their food does look Dullish, for real, honestly. Okay. I gotta check it out. Mm -hmm. And then they, and then when it was time for the live cooking show, what they had was four what they call home cooks. I guess these are people that are inexperienced and not really too versed in cooking and just want to follow along the steps and cook something. And then they had two undercover chefs or like home cooks from the Delish company themselves 
reviewing and really being the judges of these two cooking shows. And it never surprised me that they are always shocked they are. when they find out that somebody's there. It makes me wonder what's going on. These people are there. What is going on during the week? They're probably filming, but what is going on? where they don't know that somebody's going to be from the audience or, or, or I, I just noticed that yes there must be show. other stuff going on while they're there this is what they show mm -hmm. so if you're being filmed you don't know what they're going to show that's true but i just find that fascinating i do i honestly do because sometimes when i look at these cooking shows i'm thinking that they're only doing this one show for this one day I'm thinking there's more to it than that. These people have came from all over the world. They can't just go home. And what are they going to do? Just sit there for the rest of the week? Oh, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to do this. That doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. I think that they are training, going through stuff, teaching them. I, I really do believe something more is going on. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, that would be definitely fair. Yeah. Um, behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. Now, for Team Vanderpump, I really love their idea of shrimp skewers with star-shaped pineapples. Mm. Shrimp and pineapples is good. I can no longer eat shrimp. I can't eat them. I'm allergic to shellfish. But it did look good. It did. It definitely looked delicious. However, there was apparently a discrepancy on what kind of dish they were going to do. Erica had decided to she has suggested them to do lobster rolls mm. and nicholas and this is on lisa vanderpump yes mm. nicholas decided he was the one that came up with the shrimp idea and then roman the guy that runs runs food trucks he was just like pineapples taste great with shrimp so then so they were kind of on a team and that and, and what about the young boy that i'm rooting for Young boy, yeah, the young guy, the twenty-year-old. Oh yeah, he was the one that's just saying Roman. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, he was. He's the food truck guy. Yes, he knows a food truck. Yes, yes he does. He bailed them out the first time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He really did. And the second time, he messed up with the drink, but he came through though. This mm -hmm. time, how would he do? Because I'm rooting for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this time he suggested. Well, first off, he really wasn't sure about the um, lobster roll, but he also wasn't um, sure about the shrimp skewers either. So he was kind of just like, uh, you know, pineapples taste good with shrimp. Why not go with that? One of the things that he did, he felt as though the woman that chose to be manager shouldn't be manager because she didn't have a working knowledge of the kitchen. Yes. He was right about that. Yes, he definitely was. Um, and that woman was named Perry. Mm -hmm. Keep that one in mind. Now, oh, yes, yeah, speaking of which, yes, Perry decided to step up. And honestly, when she was just like, I hope you guys don't mind if I run this. I have been doing 4th of July cookouts for I can't even name how long. That was basically her way of saying, I'm older than you guys and I've had way more experience. I felt this though. She, I, I, I felt this though. She did a good job. I really did. I could see maybe where she slipped the ball, but I think she did a good job. But go ahead. Yeah, micro. I mean, sometimes micromanaging is the way to get things done. Um, well, she wasn't micromanaging. Well, she was focused more on the styling and the presentation of the food than actually what food was being served. I guess she was like, as long as it looks good and you guys can replicate it, hey, you're the chef, you know best. That's how she was. She was like, everybody is good at what they're doing, so I just let them do And that. I don't have to micromanage them. However, at the end of every show, when you have somebody, they, everybody's going to say, it was your fault. I, I wish that the world wasn't so quick to point a finger, but begin to point a finger at ourselves. What could I have done better? Mm -hmm. What could I have done differently? Instead of blaming the blame, because they all want that two hundred and fifty thousand. Exactly. But instead of doing that, why don't they point the finger at themselves? Mm -hmm. And I don't see people giving accountability for that. Mm -hmm. People are so quick to judge others. And if then I do choose to choose myself, then I begin to art man out, and I get sent home because I found fault with me. Yeah, which that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Crazy, it, right? Yeah, it honestly is. That just shows you how it's a dog eat dog world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Throw somebody under the bus to save your own skin. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. 
So with that, that was pretty much the overview with Lisa's team. And then for Ramsey's team, their idea, which was very basic, even Lisa Vanderpump's team, when they was thinking of it, they were just like, the burger for for 4th of July is just so basic. Let's do something different. But Chef Ramsey, sometimes when you do basic, it goes best. They made burgers. I thought I don't even eat burgers. But I felt as though it looked good. It definitely looked Especially good. Especially when it was on that pretzel bun. bun. Mm -hmm. It looked good to me. And I don't even eat meat. Like, I don't eat, what is it, meat hamburgers? Mm -hmm. Hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crumbly. <laughs> I don't know how you swallow. It just felt like a bunch of crumbs in your mouth. But go ahead. Yes, Kyson. Um, Bristle crumbs. <laughs> Kyson decided to step up this episode. And Kyson's the one that had the um, culinary forks, the one with the speech Oh, from. the black guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said that he wanted to finally step up because he's been quiet lately. So he's like, let me try to show you guys that I'm here for the team and want to put some effort. And he led perfectly, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, however, so when it came time to figuring out what they were going to make, Ali... Decide okay. The the this girl named Rose Content Contestant Contestant. This contestant named Allie. This girl. <laughs> now let me tell you about this chica right here. <laughs> um Allie was stressed the entire time trying to write out the step-by-step -step recipe for people to follow along. Because she wanted it to be right, but also there was another contestant named Rose that was like, I'm going to pretend to be the viewer and I'm going to try to follow along and tell you where it doesn't make sense. And so much so that by the end of it, Rose, no, Allie had accidentally forgotten to put buns and bacon on the ingredient list. That's how stressed she was. Girl, that was a big mess up you made. Um, however, uh, I yeah, yikes on that one. She was ready to cry too. On top of that, from being so stressed out. But why didn't the, uh, why didn't she just tell the woman, look, I can do this better by myself. I don't need your help. I, I, let me write it down, and then we can go over. Why did she do that? Yeah, that honestly would be best. Instead of having somebody over your shoulder be like, no, rewrite that, or just literally scratch it out for you, and you're just like... <laughs> then I would, sometimes you just said, you do it, because I can't work like this. Mm -hmm. And if that means that i got to go home, see, I, I, I couldn't, I, I can't do th things for money like that. I'm sorry, I can't sell my soul. I mean... I guess I, it would depend on, I, I don't know. I, 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 mm -mm. I guess I'm not hungry like that. Okay. Understand. Maybe. I, I mean, like, I don't need this. Look, no. Mm -mm. Okay, don't need that unnecessary stress in my life. No, I don't need it because it's a show and I, I would be into it and I would want to win, but not at the selling of my soul, though. No. Yeah, that's true. We we sometimes see the breaking limit these shows put people through. Like they can send me home. I just don't want to be the third one. <laughs> okay, I understand. Let me get to the sixth person or something. Okay. Let me get past five. You know, yeah. six. Let me get past six, and then you can send me home. Mm -hmm. And this, this. Let me hang in there that long. Yeah, I understand. I can leave and say, well, you know what? At least I wasn't like after the five, which is the worst, then the six. At least I can say I wasn't the first one. Yeah, exactly. And I wasn't the first after the half of them all. I was the seventh one. It was like that. Okay, I'm I'm off and never never late. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I definitely get because that's how that show makes me feel like competitive. Like I don't want to be the first to go home. I certainly don't want to be the fifth person to go home or the sixth or the second. I don't mind being the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. How many people they have? Um, right now they're down to fourteen. So I don't want to be the thirteenth person to go home because that's too close to the win. Yeah, that is. I would true. rather just go home Only anywhere middle. between nine and ten. Just give it to me. If you're thinking that I'm going to win, you could just send me home now because <laughs> I don't want to be up there with the thirteen. Because now I want it. Now I'm first and four. Now I'm dreaming about it. Now I'm feeling cutthroat. That's going to take me out my element. So no. Mm -hmm. I understand. You understand? I do. That's real, right? <laughs> That's how I would feel. I'm being 100. Because I don't like to be 
competing like that. But if I'm close to the prize, that means those other people are just as good as yes. I am. And it's not that I can't compete, that I just start finding that I'm a sore loser. Mm -hmm. So okay, it would so that's why I said I couldn't do shows like that. I'm a, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> I, 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 especially for it to be broadcast on national yeah, TV. Especially when you put your heart in it, like you doing everything. You doing everything you can. And every month, you every month, week, you barely making it. Mm -hmm. And this is the one time you just uh, uh, and you messed up and you know you're going, you know you're going, and then they don't they let you slide. <laughs> then the next week you do good, and then the next week you make a mistake and you know you're going and you know it and you sicken and you bye bye bye. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I feel like that's one of the, how one of the contestants is starting to feel because he has now been in the grilling twice. Oh, now. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is not for me. I, I'm a poor loser. But thank you, though. I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, when it comes time for the live broadcasting, oh, we. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's start with. Since I started with Vanderpump first last time, we're going to start with Vanderpump again. They presented their skewers. It started off pretty decent, actually. Um, they had all their ingredients listed. Nicholas, when he had done like a run through with Lisa, she was just like, well, you need to slow down, make sure people can understand you. And he definitely did deliver on that. He slowed down, explained things, everything right. Even his co-host, Erica, was very, even she said that their chemistry just worked. And they honestly were great on camera together. They did work and flow nicely. However, when it came time to making the stars, this, this pineapple stars, it was kind of hard for people, even in the audience, to follow along. And even the two undercover people that were even, there. Even Vanderpump said it was hard for her to follow along. And yeah. that's her team. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, some of the people started falling behind. And the whole concept is to make this meal in 30 minutes. When people can literally follow you. Yes. So they're following behind, especially because it's live. You can't rewind it back. Right. It's just like, well, now that I'm far behind, how am I going to catch up and complete this meal? So that was a mark on them. However, they did finish on time, even though it might have toppled over at the end. That was a little funny, but that just shows you the imbalance. However, it did look nice at the end. That was pretty that was pretty much it for them. They they didn't have much wrong going on with them. Hint hint. But for Team Ramsey, we had First off, they had to address the fact that there was no buns or bacon on the list. And people were looking like, wait, there's buns? I didn't, I didn't see that on the list. And they're just like, bacon? I didn't buy no buns or bacon. <laughs> and these were special buns. You know, they were special buns. buns. So they weren't like regular they were buns. buns. Yeah. It wasn't like with those with those biscuits, those um that potato biscuits, but they little. Oh, a Hawaiian. Huh? Hawaiian rolls. They weren't no Hawaiian rolls. No, they right. won't. So especially for that, nobody's just going to have pretzel buns laying around their house for this meal. And then especially if you're going to make a hamburger with the specialty of bacon, you should put bacon on the list because people aren't going to think to put bacon on a hamburger. And the special bacon that they use too. Yeah, that is true. However, the two people that were on camera was Liz and Andrew. And a little bit of history about Liz. She does um, live streams on TikTok and has cultivated a business for her. So she was just like, I am good when it comes to live streaming. However, I guess the pressure got hard, um, a little hard for her because somebody had told her to act more natural. And she kind of froze and just smiled like... And then it's like, come on, you need to talk, keep the audience engaged because Andrew had to go help other people in the audience, the, the audience that they have with them, to help them keep it along and keep it going. And Liz just kind of fell flat. I guess she wasn't prepared. I guess she's that one that's good at, yeah, this is great, that kind of stuff. But when you tell her to do something, she's just like, uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. So you see where, her, where people's strengths were in that. 
-hmm. And then another thing is halfway through 15 minutes, they still hadn't put the burgers together and they were just getting to cooking the bacon. So therefore they weren't doing proper time management mm -hmm. either. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm is right. So because of that, they had to really rush through things. And this and, is Ramsey. Yes. This is Ramsey's team. And then they had to rush through and then at the last minute, um, Liz literally had to say, all right, and you take a bite of the food and then she was just like, yum. And then it was time up. And then you could just tell that they didn't get to like really close it and it had to be impromptu ending because their 30 minutes were up. Now, all that being said, guess who actually won? Team Ramsey. How? I don't know. Apparently he got a three out of a five. And that's, the, I know why, because... They did exactly what they were supposed to do. The audience was able to replicate the burger. And that's what this was about. It wasn't about how good the food looked. Of course, you want your food to look good because you're selling it. But it wasn't about that. It was about your audience. They made this clear. Your audience have to follow along. And with Lisa Vanderpump, you could not follow along. Mm -hmm. They did not have the right. They didn't have it. And unfortunately, yeah. I don't think that Perry should have went home. Mm -hmm. I felt as though the guy should have Nicholas. second time that he weaseled his way out of something. Mm -hmm. I really feel as though it should have been him. Yeah, it really should have. And why is your reason? My reason is because he didn't want to hold anything account. And even when things were going to go awry, he already said, if we go on the grill in, I'm going to point out Perry. So he already had some beef going because... And then even at the end, when he slipped away, he was just like, I don't like that I've been in the final spot twice now. Somebody needs to step up in this team. I just feel as though I don't like his personality. Mm -hmm. no. And I, it's a couple of them I don't like their personality. But him, he can go. And sooner or later, because I think Lisa asked him, she was struggling with that. She was. She asked him, why should you stay? But she didn't ask Perry that. And I felt like that was unfair. No, she did ask Perry. And Perry said that basically. Yeah, she did. She did. She yep. Did. She basically said that I was a good leader and it came But down. that's not what she asked her. Mm -hmm. And due to the question, Perry began to toot his horn. I'm good in the kitchen. I'm this, I'm that. If I was her, I would say because I'm good at this. Mm -hmm. And because I think the team could use me because I'm this and that. Yeah. You know, I, I would have definitely tooted myself and not take it to the kitchen, but take it why I'm here mm -hmm. and what I can bring to the table. Yeah, that is true. And she didn't do that. No, she so. didn't. She put blame back on Nicholas. Right. Right. Yeah. And so for that, she did have to go home. She had to go home. Right. Okay, whatever. But yeah, that was Don't be mad at the Addis at all. I know. It's, and then they had some bickering too. And literally everybody was talking, even some of his castmates said that Nicholas doesn't own anything that he does and he still got to stay on the team. He's his days are numbered. Yeah. Because he doesn't play well with others. Mm -mm. And that's his problem. Yeah. So, well, anyway, anything else? I know that was pretty much it. Well, that was it. Baby Kong, you really did a good job <laughs> of talking you. about it. Um, I really do like the show. I really hope you all join us. We're gonna we're gonna do it with we in it. So we're gonna finish it. I certainly enjoy it and I hope we come back next year. Yes. It's really, really good. You really will. It's an hour of really entertainment mm -hmm. no no fight well you know what it is when you're going for something yeah, but you, it's competitive but it's it's easy it's easy like sunday morning it really you is. know so if you're into that sort of thing please join us it comes on wednesday at what time um 8 p.m on fox right yes on fox. so please join us with that we thank you for joining us with food stars very very good show we enjoy it mm -hmm. and with that what do we say Sunflower!